Okay, so what is temptation? So in James 1, 13, uh, it says, when tempted, no one should say, God is tempting me, for God himself cannot be tempted by evil, and he himself tempts no one. So where does it come from? So immediately we can see that God cannot be tempted because he's holy and he's just. Which means that as long as we remain in the spirit, we ourselves cannot be tempted to do evil and to sin. Then James 14, James 1 14 goes on to say, but each person is tempted when he is lured and enticed by his own desires. So the key words there are lured, and own desires so if a, if the desire to sin does not come from god but from our own desires then it must come from the flesh but then we also know that the enemy would also try to tempt us and lure us into pleasure in the flesh and we see this in matthew 14 so when he, when a tempter says to jesus if you are the son of god turn these stones into bread. So the enemy is even trying to lure Jesus into pleasure in the flesh with food, to look for satisfaction from the flesh, but not from the Father. So the goal of the flesh then, um, is, and the goal of the enemy, is to take us away from God and to lead us into sin by pleasure in the flesh. And someone very smart, told me that two techniques and 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 um in the body told me that two techniques of the enemy is to use sex and food and i can open it as 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 a means of temptation to get us to sin they're the most to one of the uh, to the most favorite um techniques of the enemy so and then I can openly confess as well that, you know, both of these things, um, they're a challenge for me on a daily basis. So every day um, I, I have to call on the spirit to overcome lust um, and a desire to pleasure the flesh. Because I know that if I fall into temptation and pleasure the flesh, like it says in James, after desire has conceived, it is given birth to sin. And sin, when it is full grown, gives birth to death. That's James 1.15. So I know that sin leads to death. But I also know that sin, it promises us uh, pleasure. Uh, but that's really front-loaded. And it's a short-term pleasure. And eventually that, that leads to pain and suffering, to guilt, to shame, to destruction, and even bondage, bondage to sin. So how does, so we know where temptation, what temptation is and where temptation comes from. The temptation is a desire to do evil or to do something that we know that we shouldn't be doing, which is wrongful, um, but, the, but yet we're attracted to it. The temptation comes from, doesn't come from God because God is holy and God is just. So it comes from the flesh or it comes from the tempter. So now how do we over, actually overcome temptation? So the second foundation of text is Galatians 5, 16. And it says, so I say, walk by the spirit and you will not gratify, gratify the desires of the flesh. So we must deny the flesh and walk in the spirit. We do this, how do we do this? We do this by seeking a relationship with God and by taking action. So we should, I, what I, so I, we, a technique to do this is to identify and to avoid uh, the things and the environments that we know are going to trigger us into, into that temptation. Be selective about who we spend our time with. Listen to worship music and not secular music, so the worldly music. Pray often and invite the Holy Spirit into every situation of our lives. <clears throat> spend time here on Faith Walk and in fellowship, even outside of here church wherever it may be with brothers and sisters share the love and the light of jesus with strangers and wherever the opportunity may arise and whenever we're led by the spirit and to spend time reading the bible which is the word of god so we must know and we must stand and confess the word no stand on and confess the word of god so that 
<clears throat> and where I find that it helps and where I've used this is I know, for instance, that every morning when I wake up um, and I start to get ready, I know that my flesh gets fired up. I know why it does it, but uh, and I know it's going to do it. I know what my triggers are. I've identified what my triggers are um, through, through the spirit, through my experience and learning about myself. Um, I can identify my triggers. I know what they are. So I, I either put on some worship music in the morning or, or if it's if that's not enough and I'm really fired up, then I, I call on the Holy Spirit and then I start to recite scripture. Scriptures like Corinthians, no, no. I strike a blow to my body so that after I preached, I will not be disqualified for the prize. Galatians, it's not Christ. Um, it is not I who live, but Christ in me. Corinthians, my body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. John, who the sun sets free is free indeed. And I am free. I'm free of sin. I'm free of lust. I'm free of addiction. I'm free of gluttony. I'm free of pornography. I'm free of fear. I'm free. In Christ, I am free. I'm a new creation in Christ. And God, this is our first, our third foundational text. God promises that he will make a way for us. So in 1 Corinthians 10, 13, it says, no temptation has seized you except that what is common to man. And God is faithful and just, and he will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can stand up under it. So when I look at that verse, and one of the things that really st stands out to me is that, that you can stand up under it. When you are tempted, he will also provide a way out. So that's a promise of God. But then he says that you will stand up under it. And this is why we overcome. We overcome by the word of God, by the relationship with God, by calling on the Holy Spirit by adopting techniques and activity that's going to strengthen our relationship with God. And then, so it's, that's how we overcome, but it's by the word of God. And we stand up from under it, like God says, that you can stand up from under it. So we stand up from under it, from under that principality, and we come over it to overcome it. So that's what we have to do. If we, if we rest in God and our focus is on God, then we're able to come up from under any principalities and then come over that as well to overcome temptation. And I'm just going to finish up on one final thing here. And this is a promise of God. And this spoke to me, the Spirit spoke to me and gave me this just the other day when I'm reading through John. But then in John 4, um, after, the G, after Jesus has spoken to the Sumerian woman at the well, his disciples come back to him and they say, uh, look, they, it's, his disciples come back and they've been in the town and they've been getting some food. And they come back and they offer him food and say, you know, you must be hungry, here's food. And Jesus, uh, Jesus says to them, I have food that you know nothing about. That's really important. I have food that you know nothing about. My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. So when Jesus uses the word food there, he's not necessarily talking about actual food. We, we all need to eat, of course. But what he's talking about is where his pleasure comes from, where his filling comes from, where his satisfaction comes from, where his fullness comes from. It's the, it, it, and what he's trying to communicate to us is that when we don't seek satisfaction and fullness in the pleasures of the flesh and the pleasures of sin, and our focus is on Jesus and on our Father's business, then God will satisfy us in ways that we cannot begin to imagine, that we know nothing about, that is not even of this world. God will satisfy us if we can, if we can do that. So that's the promise from God, and that's available to all of us. And it's a promise to all of us. Um, and that's the that's the end of my, my session. Thank you. Lovely, nice, easy, three point sermon, straightforward, easy to listen to, very, very clear cut, directive, and very, very 
very clear, sound advice. Thank you, Brother Neil, for that this morning, for coming in and um, delivering the word. Um, I just basically feel that, um, you know, that we are overcomers. I just want to reiterate that. That's who we are. We are overcomers. And the scriptures say there is there is nothing that we cannot do in Christ because he strengthens us. So I just really want to encourage everybody that's here this morning. Um, and I know that we're all going through certain stuff or certain situations or difficulties or areas that we might be struggling with in our lives because uh, we all struggle. Uh, we all go through difficult situations and we all go through some challenging times. And we all go through the process of surrender. And... Um, we just need to continue to surrender to win in him. Um, and I just really just feel that, you know, um, particularly with my walk, you know, when I was going through and when I'm continuing, because I believe that sanctification is, is a continued process for every believer. God is bringing us to his ways and the higher ways all the time as we walk with him that whatever it is that we're struggling with, that we can give it to him and we can overcome. I just really want to just kind of like really just use this time. The Bible says, be still and know that I am God. And I just want us to just meditate on the spirit and the words that Neil's just spoken right here, right now. And if there's something that you want to give to God, let's just give it up right now. For those of you that know the serenity prayer, if you could just lead with that, please. Could somebody lead with the serenity prayer, please? Yeah, um, using the word God, you may come to understand him, her, or it, God. Well, we, un the serenity, we, under yeah, we understand. To accept the Jesus. things I cannot change. Jesus the power and Holy Spirit. The things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Amen. Jesus, Father, Holy Spirit, you are God. Amen. Run after serenity there is no confusion as to who you are in here to help us Lord grant us the serenity to guide us Lord guide us the serenity to, to lead us and deliver us Lord deliver us Lord from all forms of evil and grant us peace in our hearts Help us this morning, Lord, as we offer ourselves to you as a living sacrifice. God, we offer ourselves to you to build with us, to do your will. Relieve us of any bondages of ourselves. Take away all our difficulties. Lie victory over them, Lord. Thank you, Father, Lord, that you are our way of escape in every situation, God. Help us, Lord, in our weaknesses. Help us to surrender to you, Father God. I pray this morning, Lord, that as we continue to go through our journeys, Lord, that you continue to shine a light in areas that we need to surrender to you. Surrender, Lord. Okay, the meeting's open. If anyone wants to come in, it's um, share back time. Nadia, over to you. So just as we were praying, I, the Holy Spirit gave me a scripture. It's Philippians 1, uh, 6. And I'm certain that God who began the work, the good work within you, will continue his work until it is finally finished 
on the day when Christ Jesus returns. Um, so I just wanted to share that and just also just thank you, Neil, because it was just really clear and simple. And um, I really like the, the part that you were talking about. Um, Jesus obviously re referring to the the food that you know nothing about. And as you know, like food is my struggle. Um, and just really uh, it deepened my understanding I already know <laughs> but it kind of got more to my heart understanding like my feeling and satisfaction it definitely doesn't come from food anymore God has completely removed that but it's still like that habitual thing of just trying anyway um and I'm not gonna get any fulfillment out of anything but God like and I, I can really vouch for that with you know the sexual sin um having come from you know really battling with that at the start of my journey God has taken that completely from me so I, I can I can really stand on your teaching and know that he is going to do this with food it's just like Iva just said it's kind of continuing to surrender that that thing over um and yeah standing in the spirit not the flesh so yeah thank you brother One thing I know that also is that um, if God took everything away from us, then we wouldn't, wouldn't need wouldn't, we wouldn't need him, would we? I remember that it, it it goes back to that scripture of Apostle Paul. Do you know what I mean? He struggled all the way to the end, didn't he? He struggled all of him. He talked about the fall in the flesh. You know, God wants us to continually to be drawing towards him as neil said you know he wants us to 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 continually to look to him so i don't think we ever become the finished article but i think we deal with how to master areas in our life that he shows us how to overcome them um <laughs> but not continually i suppose being set free from everything because I'm, I'm unfortunately i don't think possible Paul was was he no, because if we did, then we wouldn't need God anymore, would we? <laughs> so it's quite interesting, that one, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Develops um, self-control, doesn't it? At the end of the day, God's not interested in just setting us free from everything. He wants to develop our character and those fruits of the spirit. So, yeah, thank you, Ivor. It's really important. It's really important. So, you know, this is why the scripture says, okay, that... <laughs> We're never the finished article and we need to die to self daily. So, you know, every day we need to be coming to God and asking him to empower us with that fresh anointing for us to do his will so his name can be glorified. So if I go a day when, when I'm not doing that, then I'm trying to do things in my own strength. And that is where sometimes the temptation and the difficulties can come in when I then take the reins back and operate back in my own will so it's about that constant surrender to him isn't it and that's what and Neil was Neil was saying you know that we need to be in him doing the things that he wants us to do turning to him utilizing the tools that are available whether we're in church or not in church because we are the church the body is the temple hallelujah we are the vessel here and we need to be in him very very powerful stuff this morning beautiful anybody else want to come in if not we've got a very very early session that suits me fine because i'm off to, i'm off to london and i've got my brother colin straight after mm. Um, yeah. <laughs> my apologies if it was uh if i spoke a bit quick the first time doing it on here it's like yeah that's all right no apologies you, you, you just you more, it was more it was more than enough and it was just fantastic yeah, absolutely fantastic it was beautiful i'm so glad that we've recorded it and it was just wonderful just a beautiful teaching this just really the simple gospel message and that's really what it's all about and that's basically um you know they delivered it perfectly so it was really really great brother con over to you i appreciate that thanks nadia brother neil thank you for a very simple clear message oh temptation temptation 
No second music. Mm. Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Giselle is speaking through you, Brother Neil. I can hear her words through you. <laughs> oh man, I was thinking what I was doing my run there. We didn't become addicted in one day. So remember. Uh, so we can't do it all at once. So remember, easy does it. I, I, I can't become addicted to God in one day, and we can't do it all at once. So take it easy. Fellowship, unity, scripture by scripture, prayer by prayer. I arm myself. We arm ourselves together, because you know I'm working through my step six at the moment and a deep battling the defects and looking in between them is such a fine line I, I won't despite my desire to have them removed now the the flesh is resistant and I have to keep using those tools you mentioned you know like digging deeper into the scripture or the prayer and this, this stuff doesn't go easily it goes kicking and screaming, white knuckling it sometimes. But Neil, thank you so much for buoying me up, for buoying us up this morning. And uh, I look forward to uh, taking some of what I've learned from yourself, Sister Giselle, uh, pasta, spaghetti, and bring it all together. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. 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 Finally, Beverin. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armour of God so that you can stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers and against the authorities and against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armour of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you've done everything to stand, stand firm with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with a readiness that comes with the gospel of peace. In addition to all these things, take up your shield of faith, for which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. And with this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Pray also for me that whenever I speak words, that words may be given to me so that I will be fearlessly made known the mystery of the gospel. For I am an ambassador in chains and pray that I may declare it fearlessly as I should. Father, we thank you. We thank you for this beautiful meeting. We thank you for our lovely brothers and sisters here this morning. We thank you for our faithful servant, Neil. We thank you for each and every single person here. We lift our prayers up to you this morning, Father God. We ask for your blessings and continued blessings for those that are around us. Father, Lord, I just pray that you help us this week with all the challenges that you give each and every single one of us, that you will continue to provide a way of escape. Lord, that so we can, as, as Nadia said, activate your fruits of the spirit that's in us in the name of Jesus. And you name them one by one. Love, joy, self-control. Self-control being the one here that really stands out for me father lord thank you that we don't react that you give us that pause button through the power of the holy spirit that's in us that we can control our mouth control our tongue control our, our body lord in the name of jesus lord that you help us you help us thank you jesus 
that you are our refuge and strength, that you are with us, that though we walk through the shadow of the valley of death, that we shall fear no evil, that you shall comfort us in every situation situation God strengthen each and every single person in this morning Lord I pray for that fresh anointing of every person here today every man and woman Lord lift them up to you Father God I pray for right now Lord in their circumstance in their situations right now that you will elevate them quicken them in their hearts and minds right now in Jesus mighty name we pray amen oh Lord we just bless you just bless you Lord bless you Lord we have a wonderful schedule um this um week um our um sister is um sharing from the chaplaincy prison this um this friday um and that's going to be an amazing testimony here this morning um been in the jails worked in brixton worked in pentonville now working in five wells for the last 20 odd years um as a female um, chaplain um so that's going to be absolutely wonderful um here this friday morning um Sunday we are continuing our series with Bishop Panton around the masculine and the feminine femininity um, of male and women that was really so powerful last week so we got more of that hallelujah and I, I just wanted to tell you that all these scriptures are linking in to some of the things that are happening in our lives and some of the stuff that we're going through. Um, you know, particularly, you know, if you're um, married or you're a single person right now, these scriptures are really building and edifying and lifting um, each and every single one of us up with um, a word of knowledge as to who we are in our standing in Christ. So I really encourage you to really... Um, really get involved in these teachings. Uh, you also get an opportunity to uh, speak to the bishop, you know, and the apostles that are doing these teachings, which you don't get no opportunities in church to do these things, you know, to ask questions on specific areas, you know, so they, they, they you know, I'd really encourage you to, to really get involved in, uh, in some of this stuff, particularly on the, on, 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 on the Sunday service where we bring the guys with years and years of experience in ministry to help you. And they really are blown away by you guys as well also. You know, uh, sometimes we can be in awe of them, but they're also in awe of us, but our level of honesty in terms of how we uh, are just kind of like raw in our faith. Hallelujah. we got some really, really in, in, um, in, um, interesting programs coming up. Uh, we've got the... Um, um, the discipleship course coming up we've also got um a nine step um series a nine step series which we're going to be doing a christian nine step program which is going to be on the wednesday morning which is called addicted to the cross hallelujah uh addicts at the cross so we're going to be doing that um, over a nine step program, which is going to be really, 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 really powerful. Um, and we're going to be doing that here on Faith, Faithful Ministry. So we've got some lots of exciting um, stuff coming up uh, as we prepare. because uh, We're going into a season of um, meditation. Hallelujah. I believe our, uh, our shutdown period, I think, I don't know, is 22nd and we're back on the third or something like that. So we're going to be going and we're going to be be lifting up. Um, so get involved in what's what we got on offer right now in the name of Jesus. So I'm looking forward to seeing you guys um, in the evangelism team that are coming up to Wellingborough this weekend. And that's going to be quite exciting. Um, for some of you, you might want to be joining us in God in Us Church. I'll be preaching up there on Sunday on Jesus is the light of the world. Hallelujah. Um, so, um, you know, if you want to get involved and then and, and come down in the building you know feel free to do that we've got a really exciting program leading into next week our brother conan is going to be uh, continuing in step six next week hallelujah uh, he's really been preparing for that uh, and uh, has been going through his some challenges around that so that's going to be really really interesting and exciting to listen to that what god is doing in his life so listen this is a, this is a forum where 
we also give people the opportunity to to come in and and talk and share and and uh you know be free it's your platform so you know just um so into what we got here at faith walk here it's absolutely wonderful what's happening and what god is doing in your lives i just want to continue praying blessing over you and lifting each and every single one of you up in jesus mighty name we pray sister barb's always great to see you sister nicole great to see you uh hopefully we might see you guys at the weekend in well in borough hallelujah may god bless you may god keep you may god continue to shine his face upon you in jesus mighty name in fact i think we met nicole from Wellingborough from our last um yes from my last evangelism session and she's been here ever since hallelujah so god is moving hallelujah god is moving hallelujah may god bless you all hallelujah i'm really looking forward and i'm really excited you know about our evangelism rain sleet snow or shine we're preaching the gospel hallelujah <laughs> god bless you all take care <laughs> Don't forget the lovely food at the end as well. Hallelujah. <laughs> God bless you all. Take nice care. one, Ivar. Thank you. God Take bless care, you. Mate. Take care. Brother Connor, I'll, I'll see you straight after. <laughs>